two, a five-year-old girl and a three-year-old son. And um, I was so yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, when I got the call from Joe from Collaborative Regional Gallery that I'd been a finalist um, in this exhibition, I was so elated um, just to be as well, just to be in the room on the exhibition with other brilliant artists. Um, yeah, it was definitely a moment that I was very grateful for. Um, so thank you. <laughs> um, so my artwork here, yeah, this one is called June Walk. Um, so it's a celebration of the coastal uh, succulent, flowering su succulent. Um, which I have the scientific name, so I'm going to try and pronounce it correctly. It's Carpus Rufus Glaucosus. Um, so it's a low growing ground colour that is characterised by the triangular shape of the body or the leaves. Um, and often you'll see them with the bright fuchsia flowers or sometimes a pale yellow flower. They play a vital role as well in the ecosystem of our sand dunes. All the roots provide stability um, for the sand dunes and the surrounding plants that are growing in these harsh conditions. Um, they are also edible, which I only took in as a native Australian bush food, and it wasn't until I took the artwork into my framer, Joe, at Cool Art, that he was like, you know, you can eat them. I was like, really, Joe, have you tried them? He's like, no. But yeah, <laughs> so I thought that was really um, quite, quite you know, good to learn about him as well. Um, I have not, mm -hmm. but you yes, have you tried them? You know, oh, you know. You think it's sort of aloe vera ish because they're sort of soft. Yeah, yeah, they, they, you know, if you have accidentally broken them, yes, that same kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
it was so intense those years that yeah, like I, I, my brain was so pushed to think of anything outside of the baby or the housework and just finding. Um, so once we sort of moved up here and the children were a little bit older, I started to do a little bit more time by myself. And that's where I was able to um, jump into a couple of art classes here. And I picked up the paintbrush here. And so I just knew sitting at that easel, painting again, that this is where I have to be. Um, and flowers as a subject matter it wasn't really something that I did much of it than, uh, you know, previously. Um, it was just, um, it was one of the art classes at art school though, that the subject for that particular week was still like. And I didn't hate the lab, and I loved it. It was unlike a portrait or an animal or a specific like perspective you're trying to get right. But the portrait of a flower was just a human. They did a pedal kind of rock. <laughs> um, but it really enabled me um, to focus on developing my own unique style, experimenting with new things, which I always just come back to oil for just a little bit. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, like also to just committing to creating a piece of body of work with one particular subject. Uh, so, in 18 months, I, I've really trained in on my um, style and my process, and I'm loving it, and I'd love to share it with you, and just explain a little bit about what I do when I'm painting, when I start. Um, so first, this is, I find before I begin any artwork, um, I commit myself to really working out the design of the artwork and where I wanted to go before I even start on the canvas. Um, I find like here what I do is um, I work out sort of composition sketches, I play with ideas of the colour, do I want it to be muted tones or bright, I don't know colours I want to change. Um, also the mood and the feeling and all that sort of thing and often then I'll rough it out as a sketch. Um, I have my own photos or Sometimes as well, like yourself, um, if I can ask for some particular photo that I can't do, um, I'll use an app that's all World of Free called Unsplash. Um, and then I either bring it together as a drawing or a different medium like pencil or pastel, or I also sometimes use um, an iPad app to procreate, which is basically a user friendly version of our social. That's a book. so much. <laughs> and a lot to get to free. So I find this has been a huge unlock for me, really just sitting down and committing to um, this process as the very first step because I'm less likely then to get halfway through a painting and then be like, oh, oh it's not working. Mm -hmm. And I feel like then that can make me feel frustrated or I lose confidence or I just waste a lot of materials. <laughs> um, so that's the first step. Now once I've worked it out what I do, I'm going to show you. Sorry. So yes. that's the, um, that brush on the left hand side. So is that something you did to do for each of your artwork? Yeah. And, and yeah. a little like blurb in like what sort of what's like what sort of things do you ask yourself? Yeah, yeah. So um I think this is the feel. Yeah. So influences of style. So I think I get some visual as well of my um space also of different artists that I absolutely love their work of. Not necessarily who I want to so um, I've yeah, written that one down here. Um, the why for the piece, like is there a specific thing? Um, sometimes they is that and I'm like, I just write well just to build my like, body and then eventually at the end of it I find that I have three sleep but then I just have one. Um the overall feel and look. Uh, and then the focal area, so where all the magic happens in the artwork. Um, this is colour palette, background colour or ideas, edges of art making, so where I'm like the really tight edges, and then the loose ones where all the to be. It can change as I'm going through the process of painting, but generally 90% of the time, yeah, so it's a character. And yeah, they're just sketching out roughly um, composition ideas. But I was pretty clear on that I wanted that particular shape for this one, for this canvas. So, yeah. But I'll show you so the process. So, uh, so we'll just turn it 
to sort of, you know, say what do you think? What do you think about this? Do you think that's in our own? Yes, I do. Um, you guys have to ask my husband. <laughs> is he is he happy? Is he on time with us? He's happy. Born with a competition in primary school, and he reminds me of that. I'm like, that's wonderful. Congratulations! But you go to your real estate. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I do. So I, I also attend um, studio classes at our school for uh, in budget. Um, I communicate a lot um, with Jess and Cheyenne there. A lot of the other teachers will bring something really they always come and help as well. And yeah, I'm just that was the first thing I did once we moved here was for me and for me was they were working out there. And that was pretty much the first time that I got to be watching it for myself. And and now and I've learned so much like you know the, the theory behind the colour of placing the okay, next to the next colour and that helps these little things and things are picked up on by being in the environment that I'm um, And now, um, it's really my self-care once a week. <laughs> I love just going and you always mess up that you want to So, uh, subtracting the pain and revealing the underpinning of the need is a technique of mine and my style and I'm really proud of it and I love it. I love it. Florals, I'm still going to continue to um, paint florals. I've actually started to now incorporate figures into my work with florals. Um, so, yeah, um, I just love how beautiful they are, but they're also so raw and imperfect. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, my two year old has, she's obsessed with flowers and what she's up to now. She, when she was to, Mm -hmm. So I noticed how it says she was with her, so we never had any left with that. Um, <laughs> um, and so that sort of sparked my interest, and I found me behind with myself, I guess, from there. And yeah, they're just there to be beautiful, and they don't ask for anything to turn, even if they get picked on by two. Um, and so, yeah, even if I evolve subject matters, I'm still going to come back to those things of me or imperfection. And I think um, using this technique is sort of what highlights the that information. So, yeah. yeah. But then also, if you do want to see more of my work, I'm actually um, a cover artist for Ellie Sunshine, which they have over there too. Um, I just saw them there in Christine's LinkedIn. Um, so, yeah, it's all there as well. Uh, so, did you apply to go on that? Or did they approach you? How did you get on that? She found me. Um, I have a, a website, so and cool. that was the biggest thing with that. I was like, the first thing I'm going to do is invest in a really good website. Um, so I think she found me via Stephen Street Gallery webpage, and then went on to my own website, and went from there communicative. So that was Rebecca. She came over, had a chat. And, yeah, it was really good. You're real. You're real. Yeah. You're real. You're real. You're real. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's quite thin, but it is hard. Maybe you can't care. Like, they just 
It's just, um, it's like reparenting yourself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>